How's it going everyone? I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, if videos like this start taking off, I might do a little bit more of them also. Um, I kind of enjoy doing these types of things anyway, tinkering around. But what I'm going to be showing you today is how to switch a hard drive from one enclosure to another. The major point of this is my sister actually gave me for Christmas these items right here. This one and a half terabyte drive which was inside of this old case which I have taken apart and I'm going to be putting it inside of this Orco or Orcio yeah I can't talk inside this external case major difference is this one right here was a 2.0 this has 3.0 connections so I can use this on my Xbox uh, this also works for if we don't even pay attention to this part right here and we're just looking at the drive itself an internal drive for a computer into an external box itself to be used obviously externally like for a game system or maybe extra data for a laptop so to kind of get started we'll do a brief walkthrough obviously external case on the shell this was sitting inside of the shell a couple other components also I did not prepare for I don't know where they went they were connected and screwed together, but that's irrelevant. So now we're on to just the 1.5 hard drive. We're going to be taking advantage of these connections right here. We're not even going to use this connection down there. Pull it upside down, don't care. So here is the Oriso or Orico. My hand's blocking it. This was like. Uh, I'll say like $20 uh, prior to shipping on Amazon, which just came today. Uh, it is the SATA 3.0. There's all of its connections, you know, the actual connection to the, the 3.0, the power, power terminal, power button, activity light. My kind of phone is not, and it's probably still fuzzy. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and pop this open simple slide it has your static static block right there and it's as simple as just sliding the old hard drive right into the SATA connection so we're going to do that right now so I got it dropped in there and I'm just going to push it in and see if you'll hear it connect I'm not sure if you would have heard that or not I'm going to slide this back over Thankfully, is that easy. So, I've already took the drive out of the old enclosure, the old enclosure right here. Put it in the new enclosure. The only other thing really left to do now is to just run it through a quick test. So, didn't prepare for this part, but I'll do it anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my laptop, which is a piece of junk, but it works. It's pieced together. That's all that really matters to me. Why? Why? There it goes. I literally just formatted my drive on my internal the other day because it was running too slow. Alright. Like I said, I did this the major reason to do like the major reason for me doing this was so I can connect this to my actual Xbox. Uh, I got like eight games downloaded, and because of all the free games of gold and everything that me and my brother have split doing the home export, home Xbox exploit, um, <clears throat> really blinked for a second there when I was talking. I'm sorry. So doing all those things, There's like 130 games I can download now. Anywho, we're going to crank this thing on. Make it flat. So we got the power light right down there. And my computer's already picked up on it. Installing driver. Installing driver's probably going to take a while. This is, oh, hey, look at that. Mass storage device ready to use. That's all I really care about. 